All right, everybody, welcome back. JP with Max Tier 3 Revival. And we're going to try and finish working on getting some more of the tune up stuff done so we can possibly start that. Um, I was planning on getting back to uh, trying to get everything started. I need some help uh, moving that car out, this one down here on the bottom, and then um, so I can get to the what's underneath in the blue car and that's not happening currently i um i started pulling some boxes out and looking through some material and found uh some kits i didn't know i had i had another set of uh, ignition cables i have a carburetor quick kit and i unearthed this which was a this pepsi it says new fuel pump um, and I thought this one might make a Lynn and uh, Chef Tush happy. Oh yeah, here we go. Thought you'd get a kick out of this. It says made in Canada. This uh, AC fuel pump. It's got the glass bowl. It's got the original style adjustment. It looks brand new. So, um... That might be interesting. I'll have to come take it apart and give it a once over. But that's a replacement one. I uh, no have no idea how long that's been sitting. There's a part number on it. So I uh, tried to keep myself busy with some small projects. So decided to do some metal, metal polishing. And that's what I'm working on. So I'm, I'm just kind of forcing myself to get out here and working on some projects there we go i'm gonna uh work on that it's uh been really really hot too and then on the days when i decided to come out here and get started it it just was pouring raining and going crazy so weekend's over now and that stopped but um it's a beautiful day today i think in the garage currently i'm at like about 70 something degrees which is perfect uh, i got the fan going and I'm just gonna get busy and do a little polishing. All right, hot out here in the garage. Well, I switched gears. I found a couple of um, trim rings and another box that look better than my originals. Plus they're the interior of them pretty good shape too. So I'm gonna polish these up. A little switch, switcheroo. I just did a little test here to uh, see how that looks. And that looks pretty good, so. All right, a little bit of a comparison so you can see um, the other one looked just like this one but I think it I think that cleaned up pretty good I'm gonna uh, give a second one a shot uh, just for a reference that's about a half hour of some solid rubbing with uh, blue magic metal polish a couple rags but I'd say that'll do and uh, incidentally, that paint is dry as can be, so uh, that part's the hardest part. Even the inside cleaned up pretty good. And the, and the rivets on this one, I've got other rings that are almost as clean, but the rivets aren't this nice. And I don't know which one it is that I need. I don't remember with the headlights, but, uh, whoop, missed a spot. But uh, they cleaned up rather nice. I think I'll be able to use them on pretty much any car that I put together. They, uh, they polished up really, really nice. So yeah. Uh, clips are in good shape. They, they were pretty much trashed. There we go. On to another project. All right, some more of my struggles. So I found an older set, and I've got a decent set, but I'm gonna need two eventually. So, so yeah, I'm gonna try and clean this one up a little bit, see where I can get the other four or other three look about the same. Cause so I had everything broke out for working on uh, headlight rings. I thought I'd go ahead and give this a shot and see where I go. Well, here we go with the after. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna come around that good. Um, it's still, it's pitted pretty bad. But in order to go on this car right here, pop that on right there. Get an idea of what it looks like. I mean, for the blue car, 
calcify. So three more to go. Just gonna clean them up as best I can. Okay, not clean. Clean. Not clean. Clean. So the rest of them are in pretty good shape. I'd say the worst one out of the bunch is this one. It's got a little pitting as well. But <clears throat> like I said, I'm just bringing it back around so I can use it. Um, you know, that's not terrible. And it's going to be a, you know, rolling restoration. So at some point, I'll look at maybe getting some new ones. But the, there's two that are in pretty good shape. I'd say these two. After that one cleans up, should be pretty good. And then the uh, other one that's pitted uh, is right there. So uh, keep working on them. All right, so all in all, I'd say I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, the one is pitted, and it's, uh, you know, it's it's in there. The rest of these three came out pretty good. One. Two. The bad one. And the fourth one. And both the headlight rings. And that's a, that was actually a full day. Um, these are a little scrubby on the, um, on the faces, the emblems here. I made sure I took those off so I could get whatever was behind that because there was a little rust around the ring as well. So, for following along, I know this is boring stuff, but, um, you know, it's uh, things that I need to do to save money. I'm trying to use as much as I can from the original cars. Um, so I can, you know, obviously uh, keep a lot of the equipment that was with it, and then, um, and then, um, yeah. So that's it. Um, thanks for following along. Uh, like, subscribe, follow, all that kind of stuff, and uh, we'll see you. Okay, here you go with my sketchy method. Got to come around. <clears throat> Get up on a ladder. And I can get up here where the car work takes place. And that's why I almost broke a leg. Um, <clears throat> so I need to get the points out, but um, I'm thinking I need to rotate it around and find out where the gap pops open, the points pop open, so I can make sure I put it back at that location. And uh, I found my headlight buckets here in this box right here. I noticed that the clip right there, it's uh, missing a side. Didn't know if there's a replacement clip available or if I need to source a, a headlight bucket. So that's what I'm looking at right there. I have right here has the clip on both sides so uh got any suggestions let me know